by focusing on animal genetics, again beef and dairy. We select the best of the best animals in the world to make sure that through improved breeding, through artificial insemination or through use of embryos, these animals we select can be utilized to improve our local breeds and they have the genetic potential to give more than 43 liters per cow per day when the farmer has utilized them well. When we talk about the dairy breeds, we have the different breeds, we have the Hostin, or what most farmers would call the, the Frisians, we have the Jersey, we have the, uh, the Asher, we have the Ganzi, the Brown Swiss, and we also have uh, the Milking Jeer. Well, the innovation was obviously uh, come up with by a research and development program that we run at IDEX. Um, we have a research and development program in several countries around the world and they came up with this test and the test was always meant to look at the perspective of cow welfare um, make, and checking if the cow was pregnant. And how we hope to help uh, Ugandan farmers is by being able to test pregnancy earlier I'm a vet, I've done ultrasound, I've done one, but, but if you put your arm into this cow as early as 28 days, you may actually cause an abortion. But this inseminator used the kit and he was able to tell the farmer hmm, accurately So this method, uh, if we have an objective of having a calf every year, means that it gives us three chances instead of uh, that one chance that we had uh, of knowing whether our cow was pregnant or not pregnant and losing a lot of time manually. They can uh, pay for the test kits and the prices to the farmers maybe are reduced or they are available free. And then two, the sex semen. Please government, we dairy farmers need sex semen. We want heifers, we don't want bulls.